and I have got a um, tutorial a, um, on Photoshop uh, and it's um, a pen tool for beginners so like the pen tool for beginners um, now if you just uh, open up an image I'm just going to use this celo green to get started with, with it and um, then if we uh, you can use it for anything to like uh, sort of cut out um, like certain bits in the picture say like there's a uh, sort of a sky um, scene of a, like a loads of buildings you want to cut out the sky or something like that uh, this can be used for it um, and now I'll just show you how to use the pen tool uh, quickly so you can sort of get um, the gist of it so um, if we unlock the background by double clicking and click OK like that and now we're just going to go over to the pen tool which is over here on the left hand side in the toolbar or you can just click T on your keyboard and um, what we need to do first is find a reasonable starting place somewhere which is um, like a corner maybe something like that so I'm just going to start up here right in that corner like that and then um, uh, once you click it's going to make one straight line like that but then if there's a curve in the line and you don't want to go like that and do loads of little ones like that say you want to make it a nice smooth curve what you do then is you just go to the end of uh, sort of the not the whole curve so not like that but like do sections of the curve separately so like if I go down to this corner from that if you click and hold you can drag this uh, these two lines out which make the curve and adjust how the curve is so the further in you go that's how straight it is and the out you go that's how much um, it is curved so if we go um, right to the edge and go where the, the curve is like this and um, that's a nice sort of curve you can't really see it there but um, you can also once you let go you can click on it and edit it again you can uh, if you click alt and then hold this one you can edit it like that but then if you click this one this bottom one um, the one with the black head on it that is where the next line is going to start so um, Photoshop does it automatically where if it's curved like that and then that line is going to be where the next cut uh, where the next line is going to go so if it's curved like if I go down here, it's curved like that. Then um, that line, that line there is going to be where the next curve is going to start off. So it's going to go up that line and sort of bend around to where you want it to go. So like that, it's going to bend off like that. But uh, for some stuff, you may not want that to happen. You just want to have like a corner, um, or you can change this. So if you hold Alt and you can change that to where the next line you want to start. So there you go, it's, it's going to start coming off that line and then bend to where your next um, point is. And now um, if we don't want that at all and you just want a, a fresh um, point without it coming off that, you just click Alt and click on the middle where you originally made the point. And then it'll just completely get rid of that. And then it'll just do a straight line from where the point is. And you can do it at any angle like that. Right, now if I get back to and um, now really you that's basically uh, the the basics and um, yeah you just pick corners and go up and around like that hold alt click the middle go to the next section pull out like that and then um Either move that like that, say where you want it to start, like that, and bend it in the curve, like that, and then um, I don't want that to come off of that, so just gonna bend off like that, and then oh. Look at that. And 
cover around and then finally if we click alt and click on the middle that and then click on one did you see that it came up with like a little circle to end the path so if you click that and then make the thing it's not very smooth a minute and now um that's made a, a path there of what you selected now if you want to delete it or like inverse it and delete the background what you need to do is either go up to this bit here where it says chat paths channels and path no layers channels and path sorry click on paths and then it says um the path that you've just made you need to double click on that and rename it i'm just going to keep it as path one then right click and click make selection and that's how many pixels it what um sort of smooths it around so like there's no um bumps or anything like that um but for this there's a few there's bumps in it like that a bump there a bump there so um i'm just going to leave that as zero and then that'll make the selection and just click delete and that delete it but there is a quick uh an easier way to do that so if it go back to where it says work path and just go back on layers you just right click in the middle of your path and just click make selection and just come up with this menu again just click ok and that and that's just come up with exactly the same like that and now if you want to um inverse it and delete the background just go up to select and inverse or click shift control and i like that and then if I zoom out like that, you can see that the background is selected and there's like a hole in the middle and that bit in the hole is not selected so everything outside of it is and if we click delete it will just leave us with the sunglass bit so um, that's about it and uh, thank you for watching